top 16 in the first Players' Cup, a really great just consistency that we see from James here, being able to navigate these online tournaments very well. And then meanwhile, Alex Silva has a top four of the EI or EUIC in 2019, and that is nothing to laugh at. It's very hard competition in those internationals. Oh, absolutely. International championships are some of the highest level of competition in all of the Pokemon trading card games. So props to Alex for the finish there. And I'm excited. I'm sure that these players are ready to get this game going. And I'm looking forward to seeing how things are going to shape up. Of course, that Pikachu Zekrom deck once again going up against Arceus, Dialga and Palkia. Yeah, well, it looks like the game is ready to get going. We'll take it down there and see who will be able to stay alive in this tournament here and try to become the Players' Cup 2 champion. It's going to come down to this game for one of these players. Someone will continue on through this tournament and someone's tournament will end here. So pretty solid start over on James's side. You're going second and you get that Bolton V in the active right away. We've seen this from James a couple of times. Yeah, even having the Crushing Hammer as well to kind of disrupt the turn two Altered Creation GX that you kind of expect from this Arceus Dalgapalkia variant. Alex getting things moving here, going to play down the Quick Ball and has lots of options here. We've already seen the Arceus Dialgapalki in the active. We see the Zacian V on the bench. And all you really want here uh, on this turn as Alex is just to get a Metal Energy attached to your Arceus Dialgapalkia. You really want to attach that Metal Energy first before the water because of your potential crushing hammers. But it does look like that water might have been the only energy card that Alex drew. Yeah, having to discard a few resources in Metal Saucer from that to Dene GX as well. So it could be interesting to see if this Crushing Hammer does flip heads. That could set Alex back completely. Oh, yeah. Big flip here. Let's see it. It's going to be oh, no! heads. Slows things down quite a bit for Alex. Good thing for Alex, though, is that uh, he does play four copies of Water Energy, a little bit more than we see from a lot of these lists. Most people opting for just two. Sometimes we'll see three. But Alex just opting for the higher level of consistency with the four copies. And you got to wonder if that is because of the high amount of Crushing Hammer we're seeing in the format right now. Yeah, you could possibly say that he didn't even feel kind of just slided in the first of attaching that well yeah i play four i'm gonna at least find one and the possibility of you actually getting a crushing hammer heads is a little bit low but obviously not James discards that research, opts to go with the Marnie here. I like this decision. All you need really to have this turn be a good turn is a electric energy, a lightning energy, and was not able to find one on the Marnie, but thankfully Dead A Change does yield six brand new cards, and we will go ahead and see that electrify, accelerating two lightning energies to the field. Yeah, and shuffling away to the bottom of the deck, the extra cards that were drawn off in Trepid Sword. So Alex will need to actually cobble together quite an impressive turn here to be able to pull off what they want to achieve in that Altered Creation GX. Yep, and only five cards to work with, at least to start the turn. Now, we know that Arceus Dialgapalkia has many ways to continue to draw through the deck, of course, using those powerful two-prize support Pokemon such as Eldegar, or excuse me, um, the Dene GX and Crobat V. We actually see the Mawile GX come down, maybe hoping to find like a Dene GX, something like that in James's hand. All right, well, there is the Crobat V drawing some cards here. Finds the Metal Energy, but that means there's not going to be any sort of Metal Saucer shenanigans with Energy Switch. And we're just bringing up that Raichu and Alolan Raichu with a boss's orders to try and buy a turn or two. Yeah, I actually wonder here if maybe we would see Alex go for the one energy altered creation, but no, it does look like they'll just go ahead and opt for the Intrepid Sword and does hit two metal energy here. That's pretty big. Yeah, that's big, but also the tiny hand, only three cards now. So if they needed to hit a supporter off that Intrepid Sword, it could mean a little bit of weary. And another crushing hammer oh, and another is... heads from James. Wow. Also, something else to note, Alex's bench is full as well. So with only three cards to work with, it's just going to have to be a supporter card is the only way to draw cards. All right. Well, there's a quick ball gets that Tapu Koko V out of the deck. And here we start the energy switch, brings it to the active and discards for a new hand. Does find a switch and an air balloon as well. So pretty much everything James needed this turn, he has found and gets the full blitz off. And this is looking really nice for James here. 
Man, the power of crushing hammer is real. Very difficult here in this spot for Alex. If you do commit the altered creation this turn, even if you draw cards that are good enough to make that happen, you need energy switch plus a water energy. Your Arceus Dialgapalkia is already so heavily damaged. It's very easy for it to be KO'd. All your opponent needs is a switch to be able to use uh, Tandem Shock to do 160 damage to pick up this knockout. But with this energy attachment to the active, I think we will still see Alex try to pull off that altered creation. Yeah, uh, there's the energy switch. So Altered Creation GX is now active and kind of sacrificing this active Arceus Dalgapalkia GX for a KO, knowing that it's just an inevitable moot point. And James has everything that he really needs here. Switch card into the Raichu. You've got an energy attachment for the turn. You don't get to play a draw supporter, but I actually wonder if you'd rather just have the boss's orders in your hand for the next turn as well. And maybe we'll see James attach this energy even to the Raichu Raichu so you can threaten a lightning ride KO on a Zacian V. Well, there's the switch. Tandem Shock is now activated to its full effect. 160 damage plus paralysis. And that will be exactly enough to take the knockout through the big charm on the opposing Pokemon. So pretty perfect math here working out for James's favor. Yeah, big charm is a really key card in the Arceus Dialgapalkia lists for this matchup, specifically forcing your opponent to not be able to just full blitz two times into your ADP. Uh, but James had the pieces to still pick up that KO. All right. Well, Alex brings up the switch uh zashian with that air balloon so it does have quite a bit of flexibility this turn but really needing to pull something together trying to find something like a metal saucer to pull together a brave blade attack and possibly even something like a boss's orders to take a knockout here and not getting off the altered creation makes it pretty tough for alex to chain together two turns of brave blade in a row uh you kind of just have to hope that you're Zashin that you attack with this turn doesn't get KO'd and that you're able to find a switch card to reset that effect of Brave Blade. Well, there is the Metal Saucer. So with an energy from hand, Alex will be able to attack this turn at least. But is the attack going to be even fruitful for what they want to accomplish? They don't get the knockout on the active Raichu, uh, Lolan Raichu. So also something we want to point out is that James did attach the energy last turn to the Pikachu and Zekrom, enabling themselves to set up for a potential Tag Bolt GX. And actually, if the hand does not get disrupted, James does have the pieces to do it. The energy switch plus the energy attachment and the boss's orders. Oh, so we see the Mawile here. Uh, here's a boss's orders. Are we going to see a big eater GX yet again? No. OK. Yeah, I think uh, Alex taking the best line here. Just going to go ahead and knock out that Tapu Koko Prism Star. Make it hard for your opponent to have the extra energy needed. But we know that James has the energy switch plus the energy to attach for turn. And this is a pretty convincing and quick game one from James. Going to just tag Bolt GX, take the final three prizes. And James is going to be awarded the win here in game number one. Yeah, I don't know what I was saying there. Altered Creation GX was used just a couple turns before. I had that play from Diego just stuck in my head. Whenever <laughs> I see Mawile now, that's what I'm going to picture. But that was a pretty dominant win there for James. And Pikachu and Zekrom GX just again showing the consistency and the power that it has. Yeah, absolutely. Getting those extra energies accelerated with Electrify, also with Full Blitz. You can just flood your board with energy so, so quickly. And of course, we cannot forget those super key crushing hammer heads flips that really set Alex back a lot and made it very difficult for them to continue on to the game. I mean, we didn't see the altered creation until what, like turn three? And yeah. whenever that's happening, it's very difficult for you to close out the game. I almost really wonder if it would have been better for Alex to go with that single energy altered creation, you know, just getting the boosted damage so that you can pick up those one-hit KOs on Pikachu Zekrom still, um, but not really having to worry about the extra prizes. You can still just knock out two tag team Pokemon. Yeah, well, we'll have to see if Alex changes up their game plan going into game two and possibly a game three. It's definitely going to be quite an uphill battle just because so far we've seen just the dominance of Pikachu and Zekrom throughout at least our games that we've casted today and the day prior. I don't know I if Alex will be able to actually overcome it. Absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this game number two and see how things are going to shape up 
Alex, of course, losing the game will get to choose if they would like to go first or second here. I would imagine that we'll see Alex choosing to go first. Yeah, but again, you have to have those crushing hammers in the back of your mind of, is my opponent actually going to get those heads that they need? Uh, and looking at the hand for James here, it's looking like a pretty good turn two hand. Has the the Boltoon V and a Professor for Research to go along with quite a few options. Two games in a row here. We see James just start the Bolton V going second. Must be nice. Pretty good situation <laughs> to be in. I also had that Tapu Coco V, but chose to just go ahead and start the Bolton here. And I don't think we've actually seen James utilize the Tapu Coco V in any of the games we've watched of his. Uh, it usually just ends up in the discard pile. Yeah, uh, it. he kind of actually debated about starting it just because it has that free retreat. But again, it's just not something that you want to really game plan for, at least in this matchup. Your tag team Pokemon are your go-tos. Pretty solid start here on Alex's side is going to go ahead and get the Zacian V down. Also attached to the Metal Energy to the Arceus Dialga Palkia, very solid spot. Also is going to go ahead and pull off a Metal Saucer, and we'll undoubtedly see this turn end with an Intrepid Sword, also hitting another Metal Energy. Yeah, all right. Alex is looking a lot better this game than the first game, and we'll have to see if James is able to have such a good turn one that they did in the game prior it starts with crushing hammers. I don't see any in this hand of seven well, or there's, I the one there's one. Yeah, right there hiding on the end of the hand and does go ahead and hit the heads. Must be nice. Seems almost automatic for James, right? You're going to draw crushing hammer. You're going to be able to get rid of this energy off of Arceus Dialga Palkia. Now, James does have the electrify as of now, but it's only onto the Raichu and Alolan Raichu. And you're kind of in a tough spot here because you could use this electromagnetic radar to accelerate to the Pikachu and Zekrom, but then your hand is kind of stuck with some not great cards. You could, of course, get the D Dene GX off of the radar as well, but then your opponent just knows that it's in hand with the Mawile. Yeah, well, there is the options, at least for now, looking like the Dedenne GX and that Pikachu and Zekrom. Yeah, I think if we see James take this to Dene here, we're probably just going to see him go ahead and choose to play the card down. Yeah, you don't want to just let your opponent... Like, your opponent knows that they have the Dene in hand, right? So go ahead and using it. Um, it would have been nice to not have to utilize that Dene change, not put the Dene in play, but I think you also feel kind of fine doing it since you hit the heads on the Crushing Hammer and you're going to slow your opponent down a bit. Yeah, it does not look like the six cards are that important although there is energy switch energy so that's always something to keep mindful of meanwhile alex has the cherish ball so they would have had the maw wild gx so it's pretty heads up mm. play from james there to actually choose and play that to den gx down but here is the water and energy switch so altered creation gx it's only a turn uh it's not even a turn late so right on time for alex and their plans and I wonder here, since Alex did not draw any extra cards with something like Dedenne there off of a Cherish Ball, maybe the second Dedenne GX could be in Alex's prize cards, and they could be stuck with kind of a unfortunate hand. And we see James drawing another Crushing Hammer. Wow. If James hits heads on this Water Energy, that would be huge. <gasps> and there it is again! This is heartbreaking for Alex, but James is... Just like, this is why I put Crushing Hammers in the deck. It's so I can get heads on them, turn one or two. <laughs> <laughs> this is why the card is here. A uh, pretty solid turn here from James is going to be able to draw a few cards with Crobat V still. Looking for an air balloon or a switch. James did burn a couple of switches early on to a dead A change. And oh, it does look like that James does whiff here, but still finds the energy switch to be able to Bolt Storm for a solid chunk of damage. Yeah, and you're going to be two hitting this Arceus Dalgapalkia GX anyway, so having to do it with the Bolton V, it's it's all right. It's not what you want, but you're applying a ton of pressure while Alex is just trying to figure out how to play through this hand. And I think, like you said before, not finding a Dedenne GX last turn might be a little sign of weakness, at least from Alex's hand here. Yeah, if Alex didn't, I mean, Alex didn't play a supporter, didn't play a Dedenne, so... If their hand is not strong, we might just have to see the Intrepid Sword, which would not be a good turn at all on Alex's side. Very slow, uh, but we do see the switch, maybe an energy switch here to take a couple of prizes. No, oh, just no. an Intrepid Sword. 
just brings it to the active spot in danger of getting possibly knocked out or just a ton of damage piled onto it. Yeah, and I mean, and with that speed lightning energy attached, Boltstorm will be doing exactly enough damage here, 220 to pick up this KO. I wonder if Alex should have just held off on the switch for the turn, let the Arceus Dialga Palkia go down and try to protect that Zacian V with a couple energies on it. Yeah, we will never know right now, though. Alex is fighting for their tournament life here, down two prizes and basically no energy or attackers in play of note. And it is not looking good here for the ADP player. Yeah, hopefully those three cards off of Intrepid Sword bring some good fortune here, maybe some Marnies to disrupt your opponent and also draw some cards. We see a pretty solid start here, benching another Zacian V, playing down that Metal Saucer. We see the Water Energy attached and the Energy Switch. Is there a boss's orders as well to take three prizes here? Oh, Elder there Gas it is. He finds that boss's orders, so clawing back into the game, piece by piece, is able to take the knockout on the Crobat V on the bench. And now, all of a sudden, if Alex is able to find some quality cards off these prizes and the draw for next turn, they could seal the game up next turn. Yeah, and James's hand is a little awkward. All of their support Pokemon are gone. I do believe James does only play the two to Dene GX. Yep, and we saw one get discarded. Also, that Crobat just got discarded just now by being KO'd. So these Quick Balls, I don't think, are going to be able to find anything. Yeah, no Pokemon left in the deck to speak of. And I think the only valuable resource that James has right now is that reset stamp in hand. Yeah, reset stamp to disrupt your opponent here seems pretty solid. They did just get three pretty good prizes. And I mean, I think James would probably be aware here as well that there's a pretty good chance that Alex just drew a Dene GX off the prizes. So reset stamp seems like a pretty solid option. And but other than that, I mean, you get three prizes here, but how are you closing out the game? It's going to kind of come down to, I think, if your opponent can hit the boss's orders or not. Yeah, uh, that's basically going to be it. You have two attackers that are essentially safe from being knocked out by Brave Blade in that Raichu and Alolan Raichu GX and the Pikachu and Zekrom GX with the Big Charm attached. So you don't have to actually limit your options there, but... It's going to be rough. All Alex needs is a boss's orders for next turn. Yeah, and I think we should still see James attack with the Raichu and Alolan Raichu here. Of course, Alex is playing the one-of copy of Tool Scrapper in their deck list, so that would be an out as well to just pick up the one-hit KO on Pikachu and Zekrom thanks to the extra damage from Altered Creation. Ooh, but maybe going in with the Pikachu Zekrom. Okay. All right, risky, risky. Just banking on Alex not having it here. So here's the real question. Does Alex have the tool scrapper or boss's orders to be able to steal this game out from James? Yeah, and also potentially could have the Dene GX from the prizes to draw even more cards. Should have a good amount of outs here. We haven't seen Alex play through too much of the deck, so that could be a little bit of a problem if you haven't gotten a chance to really thin very much. Well, a quick ball discards a Marnie. Those are two cards that don't help you out right now. And with no possible support Pokemon in the deck. Oh, a Rangaroo does get another glance at an extra card here. Sometimes it comes down to the one card from Primate Wisdom. Let's see what that draw is. We see the <laughs> air, air balloon, balloon come down. No. Research. Oh. So we could still see that Tool Scrapper. That is the card here that Alex Silva needs to draw. If Alex draws the Tool Scrapper, that is game over. We'd be going to a game three. And if not, it's going to be on to James to find a way to close the game out on the next turn. And we see James does just have the switch to pick up the KO with Bolt Storm on Boltend. All right. Well, these quick balls thinning out the deck. But is it too little too late for Alex here? You think if they had the Tool Scrapper in hand, it would be an auto slam down oh, onto yeah. the board. <laughs> You'd have to think for sure, and oh no, Alex doesn't have it. It's just going to be the Brave oh. Blade, and James Cox is going to be able to win this game 2-0. All they need to do is play down the energy card. We can see the many, many <laughs> ways to win the game here. Tag Bolt GX, you can switch into Bolt Storm. Multiple Let's just get four prizes. Here. Yeah, Three might prizes. as well take the extra yeah. prizes, right? So 
James going down swinging and winning a pretty convincing 2-0 victory. Pretty solid play from James. Very consistent deck list here with the Pikachu's.com. And we also just see the benefit of those crushing hammers. Yeah, but that second game got pretty close there towards the end. Just Alex whiffing on the tool scrapper or boss's orders in that last turn. And the fact that it's able to get that close, Arceus Dalgopalkia GX, and that Altered Creation GX attack is just one of the best in the game. Oh, absolutely. One of the best cards possibly ever printed, to be honest. Very, very good and very dominant, but not quite enough for Alex. Very solid finish. We got to give props to Alex there. Well played on their part for sure. You know, we've seen Alex do very, very well on these streams in the past. Um, so, you know, it's a heartbreaking loss, unfortunately, but James is going to get to continue on here in the tournament. Yeah, 